Hello, welcome to another QA Automate tutorial. And in this lesson, we're going to talk about how to set up our test in GXMLs and allowing us to take multiple classes that we've created in the past and have them all run at the same time and allowing us to configure some things here and there that allow us to you know, set up our different tests, whether there be a fast test or a slow test or run everything or run a subset or whatever you want. It's highly configurable, um, you know, and trying to allowing us to, you know, take the next step into being able to run our regression or whatever it may be. So let's, let's dive right in. So, you know, one of the things we were doing in the past is we had our different tests here. And, and now we want to kind of move the next step and, and build these into a, a suite. So <clears throat> to do that, you know, we need a kind of a resources folder. You don't have to put in the resources folder. It's just a good place to put it, um, you know, trying to find a home for this. You can you can put them anywhere. You can put them in like the root directory or whatever. Um, but one of the things you can do, there's there's two ways to add a resources folder. You can either do it through your palm which I'm going to do and I recommend so that if anyone else were to take this and import it into IntelliJ, uh, IntelliJ knows exactly what to do with it. So let's let's just do that now uh, and kind of get that out of the way. So, um, you know, under your build tag here, it, you want to add one called uh, resources, re resources. And then within the resources, um, sorry, test, test resources. I, I, yeah, test resources, there we go. And then within test resources, you wanna specify what your test resource is, and we need to specify the directory. Um, and the directory is from your root, what, what that is. So uh, in our case, the uh, we have Selenium test source, and we want them to be in, in this um, under test here. So we would put in you know source slash test slash resources <clears throat> um, and so that will allow us to to have our resources and then we want to create the file or directory as well resources um, so so now if I were to re-import this so if I do a right click on the palm now that we put this in here and I come down to maven I just say you know do a re-import um, if you notice, resources now told IntelliJ this resources file is a test resource. Um, you know, and it's a quick way to allow you to kind of add and, and tell IntelliJ what's going on in your project. Um, I highly, you know, always do things through your palm. You know, you could the other alternative would be right click and you come down to mark directory as, and you would specify what that directory is. Uh, but don't, you know, don't do that all the time. You wanna, you wanna configure things through your palm. So now we have this. We're going to create a file and we're just going to call this, um, you know, we'll call this regression.xml, right? We want to have a hey, run all these tests um, and, and we kind of specify what that is. One of the things about this is, you know, you're, you're setting up a, an XML. You're going to want to make specifications here to tell, you know, some information about this XML. So there, it already has autocomplete here. Uh, IntelliJ building this XML because it knows it's an XML and you want to specify what encoding we want to use UTF-8 This is just good practice to have um, Letting you know what's going on the next piece and especially for XMLs is allowing you to kind of set up a uh, and download the kind of suite setup for your XML and this will allow you to have auto complete and auto generation for test in GXMLs so um, you know we're gonna have to type the following doc type sweet system oops, oops system and then we want the URL I, I have the URL on hand here uh, so I'm just gonna do some copy paste uh, but you know I recommend um, you know I'm gonna have this available for you uh, I'll put this in the description down below just so you have it um, but now we have doc type suite system uh, and and has the URL of where this information lies. Now, <clears throat> now what this allows us to do, if I start typing in um, suite, if you notice, IntelliJ picked up on the fact that a from this testng.org, there's this tag type suite. So already we're auto completing and, and we're getting things done immediately. So we don't have to guess and think. Okay, what was that tag? Uh, this allows you to kind of set up your uh, IDE to kind of do a lot of the heavy lifting for you, right? We want to work smart, not hard. So 
we have to set up our suite. So what what's the suite we're gonna what are we gonna call this? We'll just call this uh, um, full regression. We'll just call this full regression suite, right? <clears throat> um, and then inside of our suite, we can specify uh, whether test of the classes, the groups, the methods. We're not gonna go deep dive in there. We're just gonna go to the next, just say, hey, we're gonna create a test. This test is, you know, regression on Chrome. We'll just call that. And we'll close out the bracket. And then inside here, we're gonna specify some classes. And we specify class. And then our class we specify. So we're gonna run just for the some. We're not gonna do everything, um, but we're just gonna do my first test, um, just to make it a lot easier uh, to do that. So uh, you start from the source, uh, the root of your um, Kotlin folder here, your source folder, which is Kotlin. So com dot, you know, QA auto man dot, and we're gonna do first test. And again, P IntelliJ is picking this up that this is. Um, that this yeah is, is is picking up that you know it knows where all of these folders are. Um, okay, again, you don't have to add the the class here, the closing class. Uh, you can just add the slash here, a self closing tag. Um, just makes a lot. It's just yeah, you don't need the class. <clears throat> so, so what is this doing? Um, well, it's running our first test, and you know what? Let's add one more. Um, what's a what's a simple one here? Let's do the name generator tests just so that we can say, hey, we're, we're doing multiple tests here. Um, and this one is com dot, this one's actually tools and taverns dot name, name generator tests. And again, self close, we don't need the end tag. So if we were to run this, it's actually gonna be able to run both of these tests here. Okay, so what you're gonna wanna do is, <clears throat> if, you, if you right click, um, you notice I have this run here. Um, and when you run it, it should be able to compile everything. Now you may get this untrusted server certificate, and that's fine. You know, uh, it will save in the trust store CA certificates. You know, it says it's untrusted, but you know, testing generator is okay. Um, you know, if you don't feel comfortable with it, don't hit accept. Um, but you know, uh, again, it down you'll have a default password and. Um, you know, recommend that you change it. We'll just accept for now. So what I had to do, if you do not have this play button here, like I do, uh, one of the things you would have to do is, you know, go to go to run, go to edit configurations, um, and I would do is create a new configuration, hit test ng, um, and then you can um, kind of set up a suite by, you know, looking for that folder right here, this your XML folder that we created, and hitting OK. And hitting apply um, and okay. So what this will allow you to do is right click and then now it'll kind of give you these um, kind of play buttons here. Um, you know, if you, again, you have to trust the certificate. Now, if you right click and play, it's actually gonna start booting up both, um, <clears throat> actually both things, both classes and start running these um, Kind of drivers, and so you're kind of so we're gonna take a deep dive here why both drivers are being um, executed. But if you're gonna notice this one, this one full screen is gonna be the one with the uh, tools and taverns, and the other one that that ran, um, which it kind of finished up, was the felt the first name on the Facebook.com. Um, <clears throat> this one failed because there was a, a matching name. Um, so one of the tests, you know, we have to kind of work out here, but the, the fact is, is it, you know, it ran, um, like it should something, you know, the test needs to be fixed, but that's fine. Um, but you know, the idea here is that it ran the first test and the name generator test, you know, this is kind of a, a quick breakdown. Uh, you can, you can add more, you know, add more classes. You can add, you know, different tests. If you want to copy the same ones here and uh, maybe, you know, run regression, maybe this is regression on you know, Facebook. This is regression on tools and taverns. Uh, and again, you can, you know, delete, I can delete this guy here. And then this one will, uh, instead of name tests, it will also run, you know, the coinage tests. And, you know, we delete this one. So now when we run this, it will run, uh, I'll kind of show you, it will run the tests, test one first, and then 
it will run the name generator and the coinage test. And then after that, it tears everything down. It will run the second set, which is the Facebook tests. So here's the Facebook test, Bob the build guy. Um, this will allow us to, and then close down. Um, there seemed to be a problem here with, with this coinage calculator test, uh, which is the next video. I'll talk about how to set up our before and, and after test annotations and kind of have a breakdown of those configurations so we don't run into these kinds of errors uh, moving forward. If you have any questions or comments, let me know. Put those down in the comment section. You know, something you don't like, you know, please let me know the things you don't like about this. And I will definitely try to work hard and strive to get uh, better content for you guys. Um, so, but this is like, again, this is a really easy breakdown to start with the regression XML and allowing you to kind of proceed forward and start creating all the different regressions that you need to execute. So until then, I'll see you online and keep on automating.